we are. Um, so I can post your notes on the classroom. All right. Well, this way you can get it picked up. No, I don't think we're going to. I don't see us going back to virtual. All right. So what do I want you to write first, please? 180. Equals a negative 180. 180 counterclockwise equals 180 clockwise. Yes. Do what? Yep. Yeah. All right. So if what is my rule? What is my rule? Look at your paper. It's right there in front of you. X, Y goes to the opposite of X and the opposite of Y. All I'm going to do is change everybody's sign. That's it. Change the sign. That's easy. So negative 2, positive 5 is going to become positive 2, negative 5. Oh, I that. Oh, Wow. Eight negative four is going to become the rule is right at the top here. We're not swapping the X and Y on this one. We're just doing the opposites. Right? Positive three, positive seven, and then negative one. Yes. All right. Try your go down. Mm -hmm. This is ninety. Flip your paper over. No, this is one eighty. Turn your paper over. We're looking at DFI. Anything up there is on your paper. What's the rule for 180? Opposite of X, opposite of Y. Opposite of X, opposite of Y. Um, this F, just on what we were talking about yeah. earlier, where should the F end up? If I'm doing 180, F should be, right? It was on the positive Y to do 180, it's going to end up on that negative Y, right? D has got to move how many quadrants? Two. So it's going to come down. And get there, right? What is my coordinate for D, guys? What's D? Uh, okay. So what is D prime? On those rules, what is D prime? Uh, equal to 
One, negative four. Does that take me down? One, two, quadrant. Make sure. Just follow those rules. There's my F prime. What is one negative four? Oh, okay. Whoops, sorry. That's my D prime. What's F? Zero, zero, one. So F prime is zero, negative one. Quit rushing. You're trying to just be done. It's not going to, we don't change. I've called everybody, right? All right, I, pro, I is what? Two, four? Isn't I? No. Yes, no. I'm sorry. Wait, it's four, two. No. Yes, it four, is. Two. Four, two. Good job. <laughs> four, two. So what is I prime going to be? Is it two, four? How many quadrants is 180? How many times does 90 go into 180? Two. Two. What is, I is in quadrant one. What's one plus two? Three. So I prime needs to be in quadrant Think about what quadrant. If it's 180, you're only adding 2 to whatever quadrant. So you just add to the x and y? Or add to the... No, I'm talking about what quadrant, not the coordinate. Quadrant. So if I'm in quadrant 1, and I need to go 180, 1 plus 2 is... So I should be in quadrant three. If I'm in quadrant two and I need to move 180, two plus two is four. So I should end up in quadrant four, right? All right. Let's try. Apple on our degrees, are we doing them clockwise or counterclockwise? It's always clockwise, unless it says counterclockwise. I mean, it's, I'm sorry. It's always counterclockwise, unless it says clockwise. Unless they give you a negative or they say clockwise, it's always going to be. All right. I want you to write your three coordinates down. You're doing the one right next to it now. What's H? Um, uh, one negative, negative one, one, three, one. three. All right. All right. What is G? One, one is eight, three. No, what, what is, is G? Oh, G. Zero, one. Zero, one. And what is S? Four, zero, four, eight. All right, apply your rule for 180 and get me H prime, G prime, S prime. Oh, that was prime. We just gave no. That's just the what we got. That's the what? What would I call that image? Uh, the pre image. Pre the pre image. That's my pre image. Now I need my rotation done. You don't want to flip your paper. The rules are up here too. 
Um, carry on. Would you please move to behind Aiden? All right, Amari. Remember on the 180, all I'm doing is changing everybody's sign, right? I don't put, I don't do any of the swap business. On the 180, the rule is just change that sign. Come on, move for me, please. Why won't you move for me? Just change that sign. All right, so... What's H prime? Uh, one one and one and three. Where is H at? H is zero. Where three. what quadrant is oh, H in? A quadrant. Four. Uh, four. Wait. Where is no not H prime? Where is quad where is where is H at? Oh, oh. Two, two. In two. If I'm going to move at 180, it's got to move to what quadrant? Four. 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 So would one negative three end up in quadrant four? Yes, it right one, down three. H prime. What is G prime going to be? Zero negative. This is positive. I'm on the positive y-axis. A 180 puts me on the negative y-axis. There's my g prime. S prime. This is positive I'm on the negative x-axis. There's 90. 180. Right. Did, did you did what? All right, but it didn't just like slide down. G rotated 90, 180. My rule. For 180 is opposite signs on both. Okay, so G was 0, 1, a, a 0 and a positive 1. Well, 0 doesn't have a sign, so it's going to stay 0. But the positive 1 become negative 1. You just got to follow that rule. Think about how many quadrants you would want to move. 180 is two 90s, so one, two. 
All right, let's look at 90 degrees. Turn your paper back over. All right, what's my rule for 90 degrees? The coordinate x, y goes to? Negative y, x. Okay, so the opposite of y comes first. And then the x goes second. Am I going to change anything about the x? No. What I do want you to get written in here is 90 degrees is equal to a negative 270. 90 degrees counterclockwise equals 270 clockwise. Okay, well, all right. I am also 90 degrees. I said 90 degrees. 90 degrees counterclockwise equal to 270. Clockwise, right? So here's my clock. I'm here at noon. Three, nine, six. If I went 90 degrees counterclockwise, that means that I'm going from 12 to 9 o'clock, right? That's 90 degrees counterclockwise. Well, what if I went... 270 clockwise, 90, 80, 180, 270. Then I end up in the same position. Okay, that's why I want you to write down. 90 equals a negative 270. You end up in the same spot, right? 90 is counterclockwise. Remember, it's kind of backwards. If I'm going against the clock, that's positive. But when I'm going with the clock, that's a negative. 270 clockwise. Does that make sense? I mean, at 360, that's all we got. All right. So let's go back to our rule. The opposite of y comes first, then the x goes second. So negative 2, 5. What's my y? Uh, negative negative five. 5. All right, we're answering before. Opposite of y, y is 5, so I'm going to put a negative 5 first. X doesn't change, does it? Okay. Try eight negative four, please. I'm sorry, negative. Yeah. That's why you hear me say opposite instead of negative. All right. My Y is negative four, so the opposite of Y is four. Four. And. I thought it was negative. I told you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm on. Why not? Oh, I'm tripping. Oh, I got it right. I'm on 270. My Y is negative 7, so the opposite of Y is 7, negative 3. You change the Y. That comes first. The Y changes, but the X stays the same as far as signs go. Okay? What's going to come first on 1, 9? Negative 9. Negative 9 and 1. Yeah? Kind of? Maybe somewhat. All right, let's look at... Our first graph here. 
First thing I need to know is what are my coordinates? So what is L? Okay. What is um, E? What is H? Up. Not three zero, but zero three. And W. All right, my rule. Opposite of y comes first, x goes second. See if you can write me four new co coordinates, please. Better write me four new coordinates, please. Slow? Oh, I have got to remember that one. I got to tell my husband that one. A bear with no teeth. I know. It's my favorite thing to eat. Gummy bear. <laughs> okay. Right. Amari, listen. Hey, did you hear what name I called him? Amari. Okay, Amari, what do you think L prime should be? Don't change the S. I mean, negative four, negative four. Perfect. All right, good job. D prime. Who can? All right, carry on. What's E prime? Four one, perfect. H prime, Eugene. <laughs> Good job. Please don't anybody tell me positive or negative zero, right? Okay. All right. Who can tell me what W prime? Negative three. Negative three. Oh my God. What do you call a banana? Oh. <clears throat> what do I call a banana? Uh -huh. A banana. Very silly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, negative four, negative three. What quadrant should that be? Negative four, negative three. Everybody's negative. Quadrant three. So I'm in two, and I'm going one quadrant. Should I be in quadrant three? Yeah, so negative 4, negative 3. There is my L prime. Now think about it. The orientation is changing, right? So my shape is long ways on its side. When it moves, it should turn. What about E? Negative 4, 1. Left 4, up 1. From one to two, what about H? Why? Uh, I mean, there you go. All right, and W. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y'all should be getting on me for not 
labeling my points. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Yes? All right, go to work on your second one. Go to work on your second one. We are doing a 90 degree rotation. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's get on the second one. Is that done, please? Got it. If you haven't noticed. It's the same graph as you did from your 180, so your coordinates are the same. What's my rule for 90? Opposite of Y goes first, X goes second, right? So H is negative 1, 3. So H prime. Okay. G, 0, 1. And X, negative four, zero. Zero, four, four. What? No, 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 no. Miss Grand wrote that wrong. Negative one, negative three. Right three, down one. Did H rotate 90 degrees? Okay, one zero, negative one zero. Did G rotate 90 degrees? And negative four zero becomes zero, negative four. Did S rotate 90 degrees? All right, let me have, let me have a, S prime, G prime, H prime. Let me have a one, two, three. Where are we at? How do you think we're doing on this? I got one more. One and a half? Maybe two? Three? This is day one and we're at three? I'm at three, baby. I'm at Okay. All right. 270. 270 counterclockwise is going to be the same exact thing as. All right. Turn your paper over. Let's look at our table. Yeah, but the X, the Y goes first, and the opposite of X goes second. 270 is equal to a negative 90. 270 counterclockwise equals 90 degrees clockwise, right? The Y comes first. 
the opposite of x goes second. So for 2, 5, I'm sorry, negative 2, 5. It'd be positive 5, negative, uh, positive 5, positive 2. Perfect. Yes? Okay, what about 8, negative 4? So that's, no, wait, that's positive 4. No, look at the y. Oh, that's, oh, never mind. Not changing anything on that y, am I? So y comes first, opposite of x goes second. My slanted line is on the bottom, right? It's turning. Should my slanted line be on the bottom when I get done? Should be on the side. Um, one, zero. And negative one, negative four. Yes? J prime. I prime, 
X prime and U prime. Yes? I'm up. All right, last one. Do your last one there. Uh-oh, I lost mine. It's a C. Really? All right, doing your... Uh, should work complete. So, so for the two seventies, do we go clockwise for the two seventies? You always go counterclockwise unless I say. is my shape in? Uh, it is in quadrant two. And I'm going to move how many? 270, so it should be in quadrant uh, three. Right? Three. So that's going to move me one, two, three. I know my shape should end up in quadrant one. Right? Hmm? Yep. I'm going 270, so I got to go from quadrant to one, two, three, and end up there in quadrant one. What's H? Negative one, three, G? And S. We're on the 270. <laughs> Somebody want to give me H prime going up to the board and
Perfect. Throw it, okay. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Oh, that's perfect. All right, you may work with a partner. <laughs> work on those papers.